Today we will be working on Wordly Wise Lesson 3. I made a PowerPoint for you that has the 10 words that we are going to be learning about this week in our Wordly Wise lesson. The first word is the word desert. Desert. A desert is an area that is very dry. It doesn't rain very often in the desert, and it is hot during the day. Some deserts are sandy. Deserts have rocks and plants too. Many kinds of animals live there. Can you see an animal that lives in the desert in the picture? What is that animal? Do you see him? That's a lizard. Let's say the word desert together. Ready? Desert. Our next word is the word bend. Bend. Bend means to change something that is straight into a curved or angled shape. People can bend too, like the girl in the picture. Here's the girl in the picture bending over. Think of it also how you bend a straw. Let's say the word together again. The word is bend, bend. Our next word is the word stump, stump. A stump is the short part of a tree left in the ground after it is cut down or it falls down. And look at the picture of the tree stump right here. Can we all say stump together? Ready? Stump. Our next word is the word temperature. We've learned about this in science class, and we've talked about the temperature before. It says, a temp, oh, sorry, a thermometer tells you the temperature. The temperature is how hot or cold something is. This thermometer tells about the weather. Look at this here, boys and girls, that's a thermometer. And I think it might be telling us here that it is about 80 degrees, 85, which seems to be a lot like the temperature that we have in Miami, right? So a thermometer gives us the actual temperature. It's the instrument. And yes, 85 degrees is hot. Our next word is the word dusk dusk. Look at the sky in this picture. You can see that the sun has just gone down. Dusk is the time of day when it is just starting to get dark. Sometimes at dusk there are lots of beautiful colors in the sky. So look at the picture. There is the sun going down. This is the sun right here going down into the mountains. Look at the beautiful sky. This is called dusk. Let's say the word dusk together. Ready? Dusk. Our next word is the word enormous. Enormous. Enormous means very big. Which of these animals is enormous? Yes, the big dinosaur, he is enormous. And the little lizard is tiny. And it says here the lizard is tiny. So enormous is a first grade word for big, big. Can we all say enormous together? Ready? Enormous. Our next word is decay, 
decay. Decay means to rot. You know it's important to brush your teeth so they don't decay, but sometimes decaying is useful. When dead leaves and other plants decay, they turn into soil. Then new plants grow into soil. And here is a picture of the leaves. Over time, the leaves break down, you know, when it rains and whatnot, and then they become the brown leaves that you see on the bottom, okay? These are the dead leaves. These are what we call decayed leaves. They're decayed. Everyone, let's say the word decay together. Ready? Decay. Our next word is the word volcano. Volcanoes are mountains that sometimes explode or blow up. They shoot fire, melted rock called lava and ashes out of the top. And that is a volcano here. And what is coming up is the fire, the melted rock, and this red stuff is the lava that is coming out of the volcano. Let's say volcano together, ready? Volcano. Our next word is the word skeleton. Skeleton. A skeleton is made up of all the bones that support the body of a person or an animal. Let's look at this picture. What do you think this is a skeleton of? No, it's not a skeleton of Mrs. Aldivar. No, it is a skeleton of a dinosaur. Look at the bones, right? Look at the hands, look at the feet. It's what we kind of look like on the inside, but this obviously is a dinosaur. Can we all say the word skeleton together? Ready? Skeleton. Our last word is the word prehistoric, prehistoric. Dinosaurs lived a very long time ago before there were people. We call the time before people wrote about history or what was happening prehistoric. Dinosaurs are prehistoric animals. So basically this word means a time long before there were people. So the time before people were around is called prehistoric times. Look at the dinosaurs, right? Eating the trees. What did we learn last week in science? Hmm. Are they herbivores? Is this one a herbivore or carnivore? Hmm. What do you think? Yeah, that's a herbivore. Okay, I'm gonna go back to topic. So dinosaurs are prehistoric. Can we say the word prehistoric together, everybody? Prehistoric. Let's say our words one more time together. Say it loud, say it proud. Ready? Let's review together. Our first word, desert. Desert. The next word, bend. Bend. The next word, stump. Stump. The next word, temperature, temperature. The next word, dusk, dusk. Next we have enormous, enormous. Then we have decay, decay. Volcano, volcano. Then we have skeleton, skeleton. And last we have prehistoric, prehistoric. Thank you, boys and girls, for listening to me share the worldly wise words with you.